So here's a review of three Gotway wheels. And this is one of them, all right? So here we have it, three Gotway wheels. And uh, it's the MX, X, MSX. It's the MCM5 and the M103. And uh, it's lovely weather in Denmark, uh, summertime in a cold way. So here you have them. All right, lovely wheels. And uh, I was thinking about comparing the wheels a wee bit. See if I can navigate this bloody video in a sensible way. There you go. There you have them. Isn't that just absolutely gorgeous wheels? So, I'd suggest that you buy the MSX first because it's probably the best wheel on the market. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just saying I love it dearly. So let's have a practical review of the damn thing, shouldn't we? Right. The advantages of the M103 are many. It's very small and you can do a lot of acrobatic maneuvering on him and that's very nice um, that should definitely be your wheel number two this is just the most amazing wheel you can buy from money apart from uh, it being small and practical uh, you can do a lot with it The thing is, when you get used to the M103, you tend to do a lot of spontaneous acrobatic things that you can then transfer to the bigger wheels. The MCM5 is called MC something because of its ability to climb mountains. <coughs> I live in Denmark, we don't have them here. But uh, it's a very nice wheel, but... I don't think it's for off-roading, it's for urban use. The good thing, thing about the MC M5 is that uh, it's very maneuverable. The disadvantage for off-roading is that sticks, small sticks, branches are whirled into the wheel which is bloody annoying so I only use it for unroading and frankly I have three wheels I'm very very fortunate I used to have that kind of money before the corona corona uh, shit went on but um, this is a wheel I like a lot but I could live without it absolutely uh, because I want the combination of great fun, I have that in M103, and on-road and off-roading, and I have that in the mighty MSX, which I believe is an amazing wheel. I'm not putting this one down that much. For urban use, I mean, this one have tremendous maneuverability. It accelerates in an amazing way. Uh.
The MSX is the love of my life. I find it hard to believe there's a better wheel out there, but I never tried any King songs. So what I gather from reviews is that the King Song 16X and the MSX MSP are, you know, sort of competing about the, getting the best reviews. I'm not putting down in motion or any others. I'm looking very much forward to what in motion can come up with. But uh, this wheel for off-roading, on-roading fun is just beyond words. I love it to bits. Uh, I'd rather marry this one than a woman. Um, but then again, I mean, who would marry me? Um, To me, the key word is sturdy, stable, and extremely fast. MSX Gotway, it's an amazing wheel. There's a lot of, you know, Chinese uh, things about it. You could complain about why don't they have a proper battery indicator and blah, blah, blah. But if you want fun <laughs> and speed and uh, good high quality wheel I, I believe MSX or the MSP is the one for you I love it to bits hello Junkie hello Junkie You might say that a beginner shouldn't buy the MSX uh, because it's too fast. But that's, I tend to disagree. It's very, very sturdy. It's this huge fat tire that will give you sturdiness and stability when you move fast. Whereas I think, honestly, the MCM5 is more difficult to ride. It has acceleration in a way that is too much fun. And when you're moving in urban areas, uh, the MCM5 would be lovely. But the qualities you get from the MCM5 are, you know, more or less the same, but there's just more of it with the M103. Uh, I guarantee it, it's going to bring a smile on your face. So now before I put this wheel into my testicles, uh, let me sh uh, say a little more about this. There's excellent reviews on the uh, MSX and the, uh, uh, what's the new one, MSP? Uh, yeah, for people who need to go for a league, I gather. So um, uh, this is, to me, everyday driving and a tremendous fun. I love it to bits. The M103, I take indoors and, and use it for uh, uh, indoors driving, um, commuting in urban areas and that sort of thing. But it's not an easy wheel to master in a way. It's, it's a little difficult. It's so totally different. I mean, it's 10 inches, come on. And um, you can do a lot of amazing acrobatics on it. But if you want stability, this is the one. I've never tried the Gotway Monster. I do my very best to look like a monster on an everyday basis. But uh, I can only recommend, as a first choice, go for the Gotway MSP or the MSX because of stability and the fact that it can drive, move pretty fast and it gives you the option to go off-roading from day one. Um, it's, it's a very good product. I love it to bits. Yeah, 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 yeah.
So the qualities you find with this wheel, um, you also find with the smaller wheels, but there's people reviewing all of these wheels better than I do. But when it comes down to basics, when you want to spend your money, I mean, where should you put it? Right. Um, I would definitely say uh, the Kingston 16X or the huge in motion wheel or the Gotway MSX should be first choice because you have on roading and off roading options. And second wheel should definitely be the M103. It's just too much fun. You crazy bugger! Yeah, I want the attention. What's the frisbee? <laughs> um, some people, uh, some, if you weigh a lot, uh, they tend to get flats with this one, so I don't off-road it a lot. Uh, I use it on-road. So, but I, I guarantee you will spontaneously do some technical stuff on this one. Uh, that is transferable to the bigger wheel. And also, in case you're doing this for fun, and in these days of Corona, I'm taking fun very, very seriously. Um, this will make you happy, I guarantee it. To me, I mean, I used to be into skiing a lot, and, and to me that's great fun. And um, kite surfing, windsurfing, what have you. Uh, that's totally in the background now, because uh, um, I just want my daily EUC ride. Uh, I'm not saying it's better than sex, because I don't know anything about it. Um, but uh, to me, the ideal combination would be an 18-inch wheel for all-round purposes and the M103 just for <laughs> putting a huge smile on your face. That's about the size of it. Yeah. And um, you could even go for a drive with the dogs, uh, if you like. Uh, Marty and others have excellent reviews on, on, on these wheels. Uh, I was just trying to compare them, being highly subjective. The technical specs, well, see for yourself and find out. And yeah, they come with a, they come with a price tag. Um, I was sort of hoping that the prices would go down a wee bit and this would become mass produced and take over as a way of commuting in urban areas without using cars, you know, uh, being a bit naive about that. The truth of the matter is that some um, conservative assholes are just banning uh, electric vehicles because a few irresponsible assholes are doing stupid things like our uh, friends from New York and other uh, retards. Um, yeah. But yeah, uh, this is just my two cents. Maybe I'll um, uh, come up with a bit more about it. But you know, but uh, but this wheel uh, for yeah, just you should not underestimate just how much acceleration this little fella has. It's, 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 it's not a slow wheel, I guarantee that. Um. I really wish I was able to uh, 
tried backwards a wee bit, of, I'm training it, but it did come slowly. Uh, I don't have very big, very, not very big on motor skills. Now you little fucker. So, conclusion is, this should be your wheel number two for pure fun and learning. And wheel number one, I guess, I'd recommend, uh, maybe in motion V10, I don't know a lot about it, but the V12, V15 looks like an interesting uh, thing. And, and I'm told that you could have, you know, go big in a very manly way. You, of course, you need the bloody monster, uh, but um, uh, also it's a very different wheel. Uh, I'm told uh, the technique is, is totally different. This one and the MSX to me is a totally perfect combination um, of uh, uh, yeah, yeah. You get value for money like that and um, um, just run out and buy them. Um, I was wondering how long they live. Uh, that's also how I think about my very old dogs. Um, hello. Um, and I mean, maybe you just need to buy a new battery pack. Maybe that's it. But um, I would love to be able to try some more King Sons and In Motion and and other wheels, but more or less from research, I was uh, I got into Gotway to begin with, and uh, my next purchase would probably be the Monster uh, because uh, I like the idea of uh, uh, long traveling in a very comfortable way. But um, so far. Uh, we don't know what's going on and what's going to happen to all of us at the end of this corona shit. But um, this is a way of spreading happiness and uh, uh, polluting less and taking fun seriously. So um, this wheel here is just so amazingly easy to maneuver and yeah. Well, thank you. Have fun.